Welcome to Dateline Showfront. Front and center Dateline, that is. Right. Our topic today is plagiarism. Many college professors around the country are calling plagiarism the new epidemic, as students fail to cite their sources, turn in work that's not their own, and recycle old papers. Some students don't seem to think there's anything wrong with plagiarism, while others maybe just haven't been taught the difference between honest research and collaboration, or parody, which is perfectly fine. Parody is fine. And outright cheating. So what's really going on here? Perhaps part of the problem is that people don't agree on what is fair, and they may not know the definition of plagiarism. We've sent our reporter out to see what students at one university think. I'm out here on the scene tracking down students' definition of plagiarism. Here we go. Excuse me. How would you define plagiarism? Um, isn't that when Moses went up to the mountain and came back with those ten things or, you know... The plague? Oh. That's not even right if you're talking about the plague. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're on camera. How would you define plagiarism? Uh, quoting more than like a hundred words in a row without attribution? Wow! That is not correct. Excuse me. Hi. Interview with the camera here. Can you tell me what your definition of plagiarism is? When you like steal words from one person. Well, why just one person? Because otherwise it's research, right? Back to you. Welcome back to Datefront, on the line. Front and center, Dateline. Of course. Well, we can see from that clip that some students maybe don't know the full definition of plagiarism. Plagiarism is the appropriation or imitation of the language, ideas, and thoughts of another author and representation of them as one's original work. In the context of college students preparing papers for courses, one common cheat is to take a friend's old paper and turn it in as their own. Or just printing off a paper you found online. That doesn't take very long or cobbling together several unreferenced sources you found on the first page of the results of the Google search on your topic. That is so dumb, so easy to catch. The common theme here is academic dishonesty, the attempt to deceive. Plagiarizers generally know that what they're doing is wrong and that what they're doing is out of bounds, but some students fall into trouble anyway. Which leads us to our next segment, to catch a plagiarizer. Hey, come on in, it's open. Bobby? Yeah. So did you bring the stuff? Do you have the paper? Yeah. All right, here. I'll go get it. Thanks. Hi, how are you? Sarah Palin? Yeah. Yeah, how are you doing today? All right. Yeah, I bet you are. Why don't you have a seat? You have a seat right there. Yeah. Yeah, Maverick. <laughs> what are you doing here today? Just here to meet one of my friends. Yeah? What's your friend's name? Well, um, we just met. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Well, bad news. I have the conversations, the emails. So why don't you just go ahead and tell Mama Grizzly what you're really doing here today. I came to buy a paper and turn it to class. Yeah, is that okay to do? This is not cool. It's more than uncool. It's plagiarism. And do you know what can happen when your teacher finds out that you've been plagiarizing? You could fail the course or get suspended from school. Well, I thought about it, but it's better to turn something in than nothing, right? No, no, it's not. I'm going to have to repudiate that one. You can put lipstick on a pig, but in the end, it's still lipstick. So did we scare you straight today? You sure did. Yeah? I would much prefer to write my own paper That's now. That's the spirit. That's what we like to hear. Good. Well, I got to be off to Cairo. Lots of stories going on there. But you're free to go. Plagiarism unit, get on the ground! Welcome once again to Daily Date Front Factor front and center dateline. Wow, I did not expect Sarah Palin to be in that at all. She's like America's mom. I want her to carry me around like I'm her baby or something. 
The student in that last segment knew what he was doing was wrong, but sometimes students get F for plagiarizing and claim they didn't have any idea what was happening. In fact, many professors say that the most common form of plagiarism they run into is called the triple herky, and many students claim to be surprised when the professor tells them that that's cheating. Triple herky? Sounds specific. Yes. You've committed the triple herky when you've done three things. First, you cut and paste someone else's words and put them into a document and then call it your own. Second, you omit the quote marks that have to go around the other person's words. Third, you tack a citation of that author onto the end of the paragraph. But if you said Smith 1992 at the end of Smith's paragraph, what's the problem? The problem is that by omitting the quote marks around Smith's words, you've made it look like they're your words and your digestion of Smith. In fact, you've boosted Smith's verbiage and you haven't acknowledged it. Plainly, unambiguously, and out of bounds, plagiarism, plain and simple. You will totally get busted if your professors catch you doing that. Let this next segment serve as a cautionary tale to our viewers. We got a classic 707, plagiarism in progress. We're gonna go check it out. Hey, look, right there. Step away from the mouse and the computer. Wait, what's going on? You're being busted for plagiarism. Wait! Uh, it seems as if the keyboard has been barely touched. Yep, that's what we call dust. And she's already up to 16 pages. Classic case. I mean, you tell these perps time after time, writing looks like this. Plagiarism looks like this. Got enough evidence here to send her on academic probation for about a month, maybe more. Sad deal. Welcome once again to Date Reporter Extreme. As you can see, ignorance of the rules is no excuse. Anytime you use someone else's words or even just someone else's ideas that you've described in your own words, you must cite the source. Every idea in your paper that isn't common knowledge and didn't come from your own head must be attributed to the originator, else you are a plagiarizer. Else. In the footage we just watched, the student fell victim to simple procrastination. Start early so you don't have to come up with 20 pages in one night. If you paraphrase an original idea, you have to cite the source. You have to cite sources, even when you're paraphrasing. You have to cite sources, even when you're paraphrasing. In general, consider that you should want to do your own work. College isn't merely about collecting the credential. It should be about building genuine skills, such as those for careful analysis and clear writing. Professors do not give assignments simply as stupid busy work that's not even going to be graded. That was high school. The assignments you're given in college are designed to help you develop your skills and become more than what you are now. Right, like you wouldn't send a robot to the gym for you to lift weights and then say, I really put one over on the gym today. You're only hurting yourself in the long run. That's surprisingly apt. We hope you've enjoyed our program tonight and found it useful. After all, most students are honest, most want to do the right thing, and with proper training about the rules regarding plagiarism, most re will reliably steer clear of trouble. From everyone here at Full Frontal Dating, good night. <laughs>